Alright, hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. This is the 10th one. And today we're going to learn about layouts. And more, sp more specifically, I'm going to be teaching you about the grid layout. And a grid layout lets you arrange your uh, components on the screen in a grid. Um, you can specify how many rows and how many columns you want. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, you got the imports here, and don't, don't forget to write this extends JFrame in, but I already have it written in, so... Um, we're going to need six uh, <coughs> variable objects to add, so uh, I'm going to have three buttons, and then three labels, whoops, alright, and then the constructor. Now, we need, this is about the only new thing in this whole tutorial is right here, so pay attention. S see, all right. Set layout, and it's equal to a new grid layout. And then you want how many rows you want and how many columns you want. That's your parameter. So I want two rows and three columns, because I want it to be um, wider than it is high. Because rows are horizontal, yeah, and columns are the vertical. So if it's three over, it's gonna be wider. Alright, anyways. Button 1 is equal to new J button button 1. And then we're gonna add the button 1. And no space. And then label 1 is equal to new J label label 1. And add label 1. Now I'm gonna copy and paste these to save a bunch of time. So, button 1 you got label, and then you got another button and another label, so button, label. Alright, now make sure you go through and change these. So, button one, label one, now we need button two, button two, 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 uh, two, two, three, 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 three. <laughs> three, three, three. Alright, so as you can see, this you should already know what all this code does, I'm not going to explain it, but this is the only new thing so far, is this grid layout. Instead of the flow layout, now we have a grid layout. So, this is going to be a pretty easy tutorial. So, now you write your main method. And, um, layout. Uh... I don't really care what you call it. Maybe I'll call it ASDF equals new layout. I'm trying to get across the point that you don't have to name this object GUI every time. You can name it whatever you want. So ASDF and set default close operation. And you want it to exit, obviously. And then we want to be visible. And then we want it to be uh, I think I'm going to pack it, and then we want a title, and we're going to call it a wonderful grid program. There. Clean that up, and looks like it's ready to run. There it is. Wonderful grid prog dot dot dot. Alright, so now I'm just going to explain how this works. You've got your button one and it's here. You've got your label two, label one, excuse me, and it's here. And you got your button two and it's here. And then your label two is on a new row because I've only I only specified three columns, so we go one column, two column, three column. Oh, we're all out of the columns. So we have to go to the next row. So now we're on row two, column one. Row two, column two, row two, column three. That's just how it is. So this is fairly simple to understand. I mean, if you have any understanding of geometry, coordinate geometry, this will be extremely simple to get. So, but it's not recommended um, for complex programs because it can make your like you don't want your buttons to be extremely huge like that. Or I don't know, it just looks stupid. So that's what I'm gonna teach you about uh, better methods in a couple more tutorials. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you later.